Sears proudly introduces one of the most versatile cooking products ever brought to market. Six products in one. The new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven with Advantium 120 technology. I'm Jennifer Enscott and I'm here to show you how to cook better meals faster and easier than you've ever cooked before. Your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven is the most exciting development your kitchen has seen in the past 25 years. It can literally change your life, letting you prepare delicious, freshly cooked meals up to four times faster than a conventional oven takes. With your Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven, you'll spend more time enjoying meals with your family and less time in the kitchen. Yet, not only does this oven provide oven quality food quickly, it provides you with the versatility you've always wanted in an over-the-range product. A second oven that operates just as your conventional oven operates, a 900 watt microwave oven, a warming drawer, a vent fan for all your cooktop cooking, and a surface light that doubles as a handy nightlight when you need it. To get the most from your new oven, there are a few important things that you should know. So stay with us, won't you? And let me show you how to start cooking the Kenmore Elite way. How do you cook oven quality foods ultra fast with an oven that's easy to use and easy to clean? Why not harness the intensity of light and the speed of microwave and get great results every time, time after time? The Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven has harnessed the power of light, combining high intensity halogen bulbs and radiant lamps above and below the cooking area. This Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven bakes, browns and roasts just like your conventional oven, but there's no preheating because it cooks simultaneously from the top, the bottom, as well as from the inside. Cooking is faster, plus flavor is sealed in. Meats, baked goods, and casseroles brown beautifully on the outside, but stay moist and tender on the inside. Here's the proof. These chicken breasts have been cooking for less than 11 minutes. Just look at them, crisp and brown on the outside, tender and juicy. Your Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven makes cooking easier than it's ever been before. Your oven is already preset to cook over 100 of America's favorite dishes. Adjusting those options to fit your individual tastes is easy too. Or you can skip the automatic controls and direct the entire process yourself. Let's start speed cooking. Let's say you'd like to have freshly prepared chicken for dinner, but you know that that takes about an hour and a half in a conventional oven and your family won't wait. Just watch this. I've placed fresh whole chicken in this oven safe cooking dish. You'll want to thaw meats before cooking just as with a conventional oven. Or for pre-packaged frozen foods, follow the package directions. Once the chicken is inside the oven, I press the speed cook button. I turn the dial to the food menu option and gently push the dial to enter. Then I turn the selector dial until chicken appears. I push the dial to enter. Then I turn the selector dial again until whole chicken appears. I push the dial again to enter. See the oven even asks me how large the chicken is. I select the right size by turning the dial and push. Then I just press the selector dial or push the start button to cook. The cooking time and power levels are set automatically. If you make a mistake, simply push the back button. This will take you back to a previous selection in the menu for correction. Now here's the part that makes your oven so special. After 25 minutes, I just open the oven door. The oven stops automatically. I remove the chicken so I can add vegetables. Notice that I'm using oven mitts. For cooking dish, the door, and the inside surfaces get hot, just like with a conventional oven, so take care. I add the raw vegetables and pop the dish back inside the oven, 
press the selector dial again or the start button and cooking starts back up. You'll see the oven lights come on and off during the cooking cycle. That's normal. Your Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven has several features that make cooking easy and eliminate guesswork. When roasting meats, for example, the oven will stop and tell you when the food should be turned over. For pizza or cookies, your oven will prompt you to check to see if your food is done. As with conventional oven cooking, you'll still want to keep an eye on your food to make sure it cooks to your liking. You may also see this message, optimizing cook time. That's your oven's way of automatically adjusting to minor variations in the electrical power in your home. This will assure your food always gets the optimal amount of cooking time. It's been 40 minutes since I first started the chicken and I'm being signaled that it's already done. Don't believe it? See for yourself. The chicken is perfectly roasted and the vegetables are just right. By now you've noticed that your oven has a rotating oven rack or turntable support. Rotating the food creates even exposure to the lamps for even cooking. Always make sure that the black metal tray is used and that the turntable support is securely in place on the spindle in the center of the oven floor. With your Kenmore Elite Oven, you also get a black metal cooking tray. This also serves as your baking sheet. You should get excellent results by placing food directly on it. Notice that the oven display reminds you to use the black metal tray before you press start. Always use the black metal tray when speed cooking, even if you're using an oven safe dish like this one. To keep food from sticking, using olive oil or another high quality cooking oil is recommended. Cooking sprays may also be used but may create some smoke during cooking. Check your cooking guide, cookbook or use and care guide for convenient tips on food placement. The glass microwave turntable is designed for when you use the microwave features. Yes, your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven can be used just like an ordinary microwave oven. All it takes is a simple push of a button. In fact, whenever programming any cooking function, the procedure is the same. Just a simple turn and press. I'll show you how to program microwave functions in a moment. In addition to the cooking tray that comes with your oven, you can also use non-metal casserole dishes, pie plates, and other oven-safe cookware. Just place them on the black metal tray. Make sure you select a size that will easily rotate. Refer to your cooking guide or use and care manual for additional information on cookware selection. But here's an important tip to remember. Plastic containers like this, paper trays, Foil or cooking bags shouldn't be used in your oven for speed cooking. Just like in your conventional oven, they can melt or ignite. However, normal microwave safe non-metal containers can be used when you use the microwave feature only. Even with all its preset options, sometimes you'll want to control the cooking yourself. To do that, just push the speed cook button, then select the manual cook option. Turn and push the selector dial to set your cooking time. Then turn and push the selector dial to set each of your power levels. A higher upper power setting will utilize more upper heater power browning foods faster on top. The lower power setting controls the amount of browning on the bottom of the food. Set these according to the amount of power you need for the type of food you're cooking. You want to see your cooking guide or cookbook for recommendations. After setting each power level, push the dial in or use the start button to start cooking. Keep in mind too that even when you're cooking a preset speed cook food, you have the flexibility to change the power levels or time. Refer to your use and care manual for easy instructions. You'll want to add your family favorites to your oven's memory so that you can access them again and again. Entering a recipe is as simple as pressing the speed cook button and selecting the My Recipes option. Turn the dial until you see empty. Press the dial again to enter. 
When you see Select Cook Time, turn and press the dial to select the cooking time. Next, you'll see Select Upper Power. Turn the dial to the desired level and push. You'll turn and push to select the lower power setting. When you see Spell the Food Name, turn and push the dial to enter the letters of your recipe name. As you experiment, you'll probably want to make some adjustments. To change a stored recipe, just turn the dial as you did to create a recipe. Find the recipe you need to change and then push the selector knob. Now, press the Options button and turn the dial to select Change Recipe. Press the dial to enter. Your oven will guide you through the rest. Your new oven comes with a wonderful cookbook filled with hundreds of great recipes you'll want to try. And if you need more help with programming, just check your use and care manual for complete step-by-step -step instructions. Just by touching the microwave button, your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven can do everything an ordinary microwave oven can do. When using the microwave option, make sure the glass microwave turntable is centered on the turntable support. Turn the dial to find the preset selection for the food you're preparing. Push the dial to select, then press start. Or to cook something that's not already preset, turn the dial to cook time and push. Turn the dial again to set your cooking time, then push. If you don't want the full microwave power, press the power level button and turn the dial again to adjust the power level, then push again. One more press starts you cooking. Your oven also can defrost foods just as a microwave oven does. The selector dial will allow you to use either the pre-programmed auto defrost or set the defrost time you want. See your use and care guide for the full instructions. The Add Minute button is perfect for quickly reheating things like a cup of coffee. Just press and automatically microwave for one minute increments of time. Press repeatedly for additional time in one minute increments. Have you ever been cooking a large meal and wished for a second oven in your kitchen? Those special holiday meals, birthdays, and other special occasions? Or do you sometimes wish you didn't have to heat up the large full-size oven for a small dish? Now here's proof of the real versatility of your Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven. With just the simple touch of a button, you have a second oven right in your kitchen. You can use the black metal cooking tray for baking or any non-metal oven safe dish. As with speed cooking, you'll want to always use the black metal cooking tray and turntable support even when cooking in an oven safe dish like this one. To begin, press the convection button, turn the dial to set the oven temperature and press to enter. The oven will begin preheating. If your recipe doesn't require preheating, you can bypass this step by pressing the dial again. Once the oven is preheated, it will signal. Open the oven door and, using caution, place your food inside. Close the oven door and turn the oven dial to select the cook time. Press the dial to enter. At any time during cooking, you can adjust the cook time up or down by turning the dial. When cooking is complete, the oven will signal and turn off. You'll want to use caution when removing the food from the oven. Like your larger conventional oven, the oven and cookware will be hot. Mmm, freshly baked brownies. I can hardly wait to try one of these. After speed cooking or convection baking in the oven mode, you may want to keep foods warm until serving. Your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven lets you do just that. Press the warm reheat button, turn the dial and select the warming function and press to enter. Turn the dial again to choose the temperature setting. You can choose from low, medium or high. Press the dial to enter. Turn the dial again to select the level of moisture you want. Crisp or moist and press. 
For example, crisp would be used for items such as tortilla chips, while moist would be used for casseroles. Refer to your owner's manual for tips on which settings to use for different types of foods. Nobody likes cleaning a conventional oven. Fortunately, there's nothing conventional about your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven. Baking trays can be easily placed in the dishwasher for cleaning. Spills or splatters can be cleaned with a paper towel or a damp cloth. You'll want to avoid getting large amounts of liquid in the lamp areas. A damp cloth is all you'll probably ever need to clean the outside of your new oven too. Use a cotton swab if you want to get into the tight places. Don't use cleaning sprays like this, cleaners with ammonia, or abrasives on the inside or outside of your oven. They can damage it. When your oven is installed in the recirculating mode, you'll want to change this filter about once every six months. Replacement filters are available from Sears. The instructions for changing this filter can be found in your use and care guide. Remember, your new oven is also a vent fan. You can select from variable speeds offered depending upon the amount of steam or smoke generated as you cook. This vent fan has two reusable filters. They slide out easily and can be cleaned in soapy water. Once a month cleaning is recommended. We at Sears want you and your family to enjoy your new oven for years to come. Here are just a few reminders to help you avoid incidents. The most important thing to remember is that the door, the inside surface, and the cooking dishes can all get as hot as with a conventional oven. Use oven mitts. Be careful when removing dishes, especially meats. Take care not to accidentally tilt the cooking pan towards you as the grease and juices could spill. Your new oven comes with a special child lockout feature to prevent the oven from being started by children. Just press and hold the start enter button for three seconds until the display tells you that the control panel is locked. To unlock the control panel, just repeat the process. Your oven is protected by an automatic fan which may come on by itself when the oven senses a certain level of heat either inside or on the cooktop. Don't be surprised if you can't shut the fan off. It will turn off automatically once the oven senses things have cooled down. Don't use paper or plastic containers when speed cooking. However, these items can be used when using the microwave feature only. Metal or foil dishes like this can cause arcing. If you see what looks like sparks in your oven, press the stop clear button immediately. Don't try to hard boil eggs. They can burst. And any food with an unbroken outer skin, like potatoes or hot dogs, should be pierced to let steam escape during cooking. Like every new appliance, your new Kenmore Elite Speed Cook Oven has some distinctive characteristics that you won't even think about once you get used to them. But we know that you may have some questions in the beginning. This section will let you know what's normal and what's not to help you determine when you really have a problem. Don't let the halogen lights fool you. They're not supposed to be on all the time. The lights should dim and cycle on and off during cooking. The oven senses the heat level and adjusts itself automatically. If you see smoke, it may not be serious, but it's a good idea to find out what's causing the problem. Smoke can come from cooking foods high in fat, like meats, or when an aerosol spray is used to coat the cooking pans. Using olive oil or a high-quality vegetable oil should minimize the smoking. Of course, smoke can also come from overcooking. Just like a conventional oven, it's a good idea to check on your food to make sure it doesn't overcook. If food is overcooking, you should make some adjustments to the cooking time or power levels. While the oven is operating, you may hear clicks or fans blowing. All are perfectly normal. And speaking of fans, yours may come on and you won't be able to shut it off. That's a safety feature designed to keep your oven from overheating. Don't worry, it will shut off automatically. If your food is either over or undercooked, you may need to adjust the programmed cooking time to suit your taste. 
For most preset microwave foods, the oven determines cook time by sensing the humidity of the food as it heats up. If you've been cooking and the oven is already hot, it may indicate that it's too hot for sensor cooking. Of course, you can always continue with time cook or speed cook. This video, your owner's manual, the cooking guide, and your cookbook are all designed to give you information, cooking tips, and help with troubleshooting. If you have questions or problems, refer to these materials first. If you're still stumped, get in touch with us at www.sears.com or call your nearest Sears location or service center. Okay, it's time for you to start cooking. Of course, always refer to your owner's manual for more instructions if you need them. Visit our website at www.sears.com if you have questions. Congratulations, you're about to join the speed cooking revolution. And do you know what? I'll bet you'll never want to cook the old fashioned way again. Okay, let's see, what am I going to sample first? <laughs>